Hey, what's up guys? Uh, first off, thanks to everybody that's uh, been subscribed, following along. Uh, if you like any of these videos I'm about to do, feel free, you know, give them a like, give them a share, kind of bring some more people over here. Uh, usually whenever I do a tutorial, it's either hyperlapse or it's like a long tutorial with a lot of stuff kind of thrown in together. So today I decided I'm going to do uh, kind of a longer tutorial, but I'm going to break it up into different videos. That way, if you just want to review a certain part, you can go to that video instead of having to fast forward and rewind through it. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that basically every spray artist starts off with is going to be planets, galaxies, stuff like that. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and start off. Um, you know, for your planet stencils, you can, some people start off just by using the lid, you know, from the paint cap. That one's going to work really well because it has a nice thin rim. For me, I like to, I like to make things out of like cans I'm going to throw away or whatever. Like this was like a fried onion can, I think. So I ended up cutting this up. I have the lid. I've got the bottom that I cut out of it. Now the bottom, you can kind of see like a little, uh, I left a little bit of a lip where the cardboard was. And uh, you'll see why later, basically, if I want to do some like outline glow or something like that, that's going to catch the excess paint so it doesn't roll on down. And then this one right here, uh, I have it cut this way. So I can get better access to paint spread on the inside. Like if you want to add a paint, uh, planet after you've done a galaxy, or if you want to add like a moon and a sunset or something, this would be a good little tool for that. And uh, I'll show you how to use that too. So to start off, I'm just gonna kind of stick with my blues today. And, uh, hmm. Go ahead and use this lid. So for me, uh, if you're starting off, just go ahead and mark kind of like the general area where your uh, your plan is going to be at. You like a little splits. I use black, but you can use you know red, yellow, orange doesn't matter. So first thing to keep in mind when you're doing your planet is remember where you want your light source to be at originally, so or eventually. So I'm going to have mine kind of out here somewhere. So do some white. light blue this one's a satin lagoon dark blue and I'll throw some black in there too normally I have newspaper on on hand but I forgot to grab that today so so that's fine. We'll just do this. Now for this right here, some people like to uh, put a little white paint on the outside. Some people don't. Uh, it kind of depends, I guess, on what effect you're wanting to go for. One thing I always say though, is at least on the back side here, is uh, Kind of add a little bit of shadow, so do like a mist of that dark blue that you have. And then do some of that black as well. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of white to that uh, side part. Now the biggest mistake people make whenever they're first starting off their planets is uh, they usually seem like the guys on YouTube that do it really really fast and they just lay down, throw down the planet, stencil everything. Like for me right now it's a little bit colder out here today than usual so the paint's not going to be dried right away. If you put it down too fast, like uh, we'll do one outside here, push it down and you see it's going to have like a little tiny kind of ring to it. Let's see if I can get it better. Yeah. So you get like a little ring. So the longer you pull a plant stencil sits on there, it'll grab some of that paint. When you go to lift up later, it's gonna have a, a ring of paint that's gonna pull up with it. It's not gonna look right. So for me today, I got my blow dryer. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna go ahead and dry this planet up real quick and then uh, I'll be back with you guys. All right, so now we got the planet dry. Go ahead and place your stencil. Uh, here's the easy part. Let's go ahead and black out all the way around it. Now 
Now right here, uh, like I said, I was gonna put like a light source over in here. So since we're doing the blue theme, let's do some white, blue, and black. Keep it simple. You can give it like, if you have enough paint on there, you can give it a little bit of a spin. And pull it back off. I always like to come in afterwards. So we actually block it up first. Do some of that lighter blue also. some white and now right here if you want to you can add like a glow on the back sides of your planets so for that just take a little bit of the white here Got a little bit of blue on top of that Then for the, I like to use the Krylon when it comes to doing like the misting part. If you're trying to put in just like a little bit of white, it's a uh, like, so that's what it looks like if you spray with the Krylon. And then that's if you spray with the uh, Rust-Oleum. So the rust -Oleum's a lot thicker, a little bit harder to control your spray up close. Let's put a little bit of glow back there. And then, of course, you know, just use some white paint. You can use a brush or whatever. Just put some on your fingers if you can and just spritz some about. And then you got a planet with a little glow behind it. So the other thing that people, of course, are going to wonder about is uh, how you do, like, do the spray in the stars that you see people do. comes to that I actually recommend uh, it's like a Walmart brand spray paint and uh, I like that one because it's a really really thin paint so you have less risk of like spraying too much and making too big of a star so make sure you shake it up really really well So whenever you're first doing your stars, um, it's better to not put enough paint than to put too much paint. So that in mind, whenever you spray, you're going to spray kind of like right around that region. You just want like the mist to go down and hit. So see, just a very, very faint line right there. And this is why I say it's better to have too little than too much because then if I want to, I can say, okay, well, I want to make that one a little bit bigger or a little bit brighter. Okay, now it's brighter. One thing that will really throw off these stars if you're doing it is um, if you're not centered correctly. So make sure that you're centered on here whenever you come around to do your other part. And there you have that. Now some people like to just uh, kind of give it a little spritz of a glow and then what you can do is just use your scraper again
spray a little bit of paint right there on the end of it. And then actually for this, I recommend using the Rust-Oleum paint whenever you spray because with how thin the Walmart one is, sometimes if you put too thick of an amount down in a spot, it'll start doing some weird stuff with the other paint. So basically anybody, if you're looking to just do a quick and easy little galaxy kind of look with a planet, that's an easy way to do it all right there. Next, uh, we'll go over like some mountains and stuff.